What's up, Wayne Baron here with Dark Effect Studios, and we're inside of Windows 10, and we're using a program by Microsoft called Rich Copy. What this does is that this allows you to copy your folders and or entire drives or partitions over to new drives or new partitions. So we've got our destination folder here, and we've got this folder right here, which this includes a text file. Inside of here, we have an enter and a one. The one does not have anything. Just the inner has something. So we're just going to go ahead and just bring this to a small window. But first we're going to choose our source, which is right over here. So we're going to come over here to RZ. And then on our back up, we're going to come all the way down here. We're going to choose K. Now this is going to automatically select these two child of the main folder. Go ahead and click on OK. And then we're going to choose our destination, which is our D drive. We're just going to simply click on the D and click OK. We've got options right here. So whenever you first open it up, it pretty much shows like this. Ignore read only flag. That's all that it gives you. Now, there's certain things that we need to check on in order to get these files moved over here. Choose verify, and then we can choose to move, which will actually take this and move it over here and delete it from this location. That's if it is not being held by another program, like a virus program or so forth. So we're just going to simply leave everything the way it is. Now, if you just wanted to create your directory creation only, which means all of your folder structures, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Click Apply, click OK, click on Run. And right over here, we've got our Enter, but there's nothing here, but there's something here. The reason why it did not move the files over is that we chose to directory creation only. So we uncheck that. How about if we choose this one, create directory only when it has a child. So we're going to delete these two, and then we're going to choose apply and OK, and then we're going to hit start. Now it's only going to create the inner because the inner has a file, the one does not have a file. So we come over here and we have our file sitting inside of here. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. And then we're going to come back over here. We're going to choose our options and we're going to simply leave it like this. We're going to have it only to ignore the read only flag. Apply, OK, hit start, and enter. OK, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to copy your folder structure over. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to choose the source. We're going to come down here to our Z drive, our backup, and then on our F drive, we just want to move our pictures over to our new location. So we're going to click on OK. And then we're going to come over here to destination and we're going to choose our F drive. Choose OK. And on our options, we want to ignore read only flag. We want to verify. And then uh, we're going to change this down to three. That way we will transfer three files at a time. So you can change this up as high as you want. But the more files that you try to move over at one time, the longer it would take for them files to move. So setting it at three is actually a pretty good time frame. But you can actually go down. I'm actually going to put mine at two. That way you can actually copy them faster. And it's going to go into a directory search of about three. So we're going to change this to about five. So we're moving everything over into a new drive. So we don't need to worry about checking anything here. So just ignore read only flag and then verify. Click apply and then click OK. And now we just simply hit the start copy button and then it will start copying over the files into our new directory. And this right here is going to take a while for it to complete. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. And I thank you so much for watching. Wayne Brown here with Dark Effect Studios. Y'all have a good one now. Bye bye.